Hello painters, it's Debbie from acrylicpouring.com back today for a little bit more acrylic pouring and painting fun and today I'm going to use this so I bought this some long long time ago and I said oh you know I wonder what this would be like for a swipe and then I never got round to it um, and it I was having a bit of a clean up and I found this again in my uh, in my painting room and I thought well it's about time I did a swipe with that so I am going to do a swipe on a 12 inch square canvas and what I want is for the swipe tool to be the star of the show today so I'm going to use quite a, a subdued color palette I've got a turquoise blue a cobalt blue uh, an ultramarine blue a kind of purpley violet color which may or may not work we'll see and a titanium white and I, what I want to do is lay out the colors and then drag the white through them with my special swipey tool and see if we can get some interesting lines um, so cells are not like the thing that I'm going for today what I really want to do is try and get some white lines through these other paints so I'm gonna lay the colors out on the canvas you don't need to watch me do that in real time because it's not super exciting so um, and then I will meet you back here and we'll have a go with the swipe Okay, so my colours are all laid out, so let's go with this swipey tool and uh, see what we can make of it. I think I will start on one edge and kind of work my way across. Uh, ideally, it would be great if it was a bit wide enough that I could do the whole canvas in one, because I think we may spoil the effect by doing it several times. But anyway, let's give it a go and see what happens. Ooh, so far so good. Okay, I must make sure to wipe it off well between each of my swipes because I really want to try and keep white up at the top as far as possible. So what I want to do is try and do it right next to the other one without overlapping too much. So let's see how we go. Okay, interesting. I've got a little bit there which didn't swipe as well. I wonder if I should try and do that little bit again. Let's see. Okay, so I'll go again and see if we can do that a bit better. Oh, for some reason it's not liking that bit. Okay, no harm done. Let's go again. And the last one. Now, although I had the, um, the swipe tool right over the edge of the canvases, here and here, for some reason, I guess where this is where the, the wood part is on the canvas, it's not swiped as well with the little tool so I think I'm just going to try and put a little bit of extra white on the edge and see if I can swipe down the edge again and we'll see what happens okay I think that's better let's do this side too Okay, I've got it. So, what do we think? That's kind of different and unusual, right? I like it a lot. Now, I've got, um, as I said, there were some lines, you know, where the tool 
wasn't um, wide enough to do the whole thing at once. So we have got some slightly different lines in it where the tool kind of butts up against where it had done last time or slightly overlapped. And we've got this funny place in the center where I did it twice and it still wouldn't swipe exactly the same as the rest. But I still think I really like the effect. Yeah, it looks kind of cool. Very cool. So um, another successful swipe, I think. This is a, an interesting tool to swipe with and you can certainly not only get cells, but um, some really unusual lines with it too. And uh, I think it's a good thing to have a go with. So let me bring the camera down and you can take a look at some of the details on it. So there we go. And it's interesting actually, the longer I've left it, the lines that I had in the sections here, um, here and here, the, the lines have kind of disappeared and it's gone um, just full of cells anyway. So it hasn't really made much of a difference. But this in this area here, where I used the swipe tool um, a second time, it's definitely made more um, definite lines and those lines have stayed a lot more in the section where I just did it once. So you can therefore pick which look you want if you want to use the tool. You can just swipe once and get you know this kind of celled look through the painting or if you want swipe a second time and then you get the more defined lines. As it is I think I like the variety so I'm going to leave it as it is rather than go over the whole thing twice and certainly the, the colours look really nice. Now unfortunately the way the camera works it's kind of making everything look blue and everything looked the same blue, which is a bit unfortunate because there's actually a, quite a lot of variation in the color. We've got a lot, well, you can see the colors. You can see the light blues and the dark blues and the purples and so on in this section here. And uh, the cells with all the, the white, I think it looks really cool. And the white has been dragged all the way down to the bottom. And we've got this lovely, lovely look here too. So there we go. I will put a link, of course, if you're looking on the blog, I'll put a link in the blog article. And of course, I'll always put a link under the um, description in YouTube. So use the drop down arrow or whatever it says, read more or click here or whatever it says to get more um, information. I'll list all the materials, including where you can get that little uh, notched rubber swipey tool if you want to have a go with it yourself. So thank you very much for watching and having fun with me as I did a little swipe today. I look forward to seeing you in our Facebook chat group soon. Maybe we'll do a similar painting and you can show us all what it looks like. Or hop on over to acrylicpouring.com and I'll see you there.